Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and Strixhaven is upon us. The new set, the schools, the Harry Potter ripoff. Um, but we have a lot of cool cards from the set. We're going to be playing some standard today. Uh, we didn't get early access, so didn't get to really try out a lot of these brews. So I generally like to play them in the test, like the play queue, just to get a feel for numbers before I take it to the rank ladder. Didn't get that chance, so we're going to explore it today and see how it goes. Um, this is a best of three, is it Dragon's List? And um, so we had Is It Flash Tempo Dragons uh, from the last set with Goldspan Dragon. Uh, you played a bunch of cards that you could foretell with like the snow package. Um, so what we got in the new set is Galzeth Prismari, a four mana, three, four flying dragon. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, it gets to create a treasure token, which works very nicely with Goldspan Dragon doubling treasure. Uh, but Galzmith also makes your treasure tap for mana. And I believe... Uh, yeah, so it doesn't work that it doubles the tap, but basically it's another way to ramp in this deck. Um, so we have the dragons here, as well as we have another card that came out. So generally this is it deck, it saw a lot of popularity when it first came out, but then aggro became everywhere, and this deck has a really hard time with aggro. Um, Draconic Intervention is a really cool card. It's kind of like the Storm's Wrath slot, but what you get to do is you exile a instant or sorcery from your graveyard, and it deals X damage to your non-dragon creatures. So unlike Storm's Wrath, which would kill all your creatures, this keeps yours alive and it can exile everything. Also, um, we do have ways with cards like Magma Opus uh, to get a cost reduction, or to basically be able to deal eight damage to get rid of like Bone Crusher Giant, Gargaroth, stuff like that. Um, so it's kind of cool interaction in that space to try out. Uh, speaking of Magma Opus, this is the big flashy is it spell. Um, so this kind of plays in a number of ways. Um, you can cast it for 8 mana. Um, it's an instant, deals 4 damage amongst any targets. Um, you can tap 2 permanents, you can create a 4-4 four, four elemental, and you can draw 2 cards. Uh, but it also has the ability to be discarded for 2 mana, and you get to create a treasure token. So this allows you to go turn 2, discard this, turn 3, uh, Galzeth, into turn 4, Goldspan Dragon, potentially. Uh, it fuels the Draconic Intervention, like we mentioned. Um, but it also lets you go gold span on turn four or five, depending, into this on t the following turn with the treasure that it creates. Uh, the rest of the deck is pretty standard to the older version. Uh, you have Frostbites being paired with the Snow Package of Lands, one Negate main. Um, it's good against the Adventure Half of Creatures, as well as Salty Ultimatum. We have Saw It Coming, Brazen Borer, Bone Crusher Giant, um, both of their Adventure sides play nicely with the treasure tokens as well as Behold the Multiverse. We're also playing three Shark Typhoons in this uh, version because we have the Magma Opus. Um, one land I want to try out. I'm starting with two. I don't know if I want the full four. Uh, this deck does want the snow availability for the Frostbites, but as well as Faceless Haven. I'd rather have Faceless Haven uh, than this particular land in a four of. So we do have the Fajords. Um, it might be better than the River Glide Pathways, but this always comes into play untapped where this might not. Um, it might be a consideration to drop like two river glides, go two Fajords, and uh, go up this, but we'll try it out, see how it goes. The sideboard. Wizards, why did you do this to the sideboard view? Uh, it's possible to see now, but uh, Disdainful Strokes negates and Mystical Disputes down here. Two of each for the uh, kind of controlling matchups. A Roiling Vortex for the Salt Eye Ultimatum matchup. Dragon Fires and Cinderclasms when we need that type of removal. For creature decks, a Soul Seer, Oxes also come in for the Rogues matchup, and we have a Soul Guide Lantern for cycling. Um, so let's give this a shot. Um, I want to just play, test it out. We're really in the exploratory stage. We're not winning a Pro Tour at this point, but let's see how Dragons plays out. Um, as we get started, if you do have any cool decks you've been working on, stuff that's been working out really good in historic or standard, drop a comment on either YouTube video. Let me know what's going great and I'll try to feature your video. Uh, I also got packs from Wizards, uh, well, codes to give away for packs. Um, so I'll be posting it in the video description. Uh, they are first come first serve, unfortunately, single time use. If I had a thousand packs, I wish I could give them away. Unfortunately, I don't have that many. Um, and finally, if you do enjoy the content, it would be greatly appreciated if you can like, comment and subscribe. Uh, all are free and easy ways to help the channel. Um, we do generally, if this is the first time you're coming here, I play a lot of Constructed. Uh, I finished Top 1200 the last year and a bit, 
Uh, so I generally play all the MIQs. So I do kind of educational, high quality content in terms of gameplay uh, at high ranks. Uh, this time we're just really having fun, uh, but we can definitely look in that case. Um, so with, against the Yorian deck, I'm actually gonna mulligan this. These are dead cards. This is kind of good, but I think we mull anyways. Okay, this sounds much better. Um, I'm gonna bank on drawing a land. Because if I draw a land, then I can Magmas into Galzeth like a professional. So opponents on Sultai Alt. So downside is we can get binding on our Galzeth. I still think that's worth it. Interesting, they didn't go black mana here. This could be Cultivate for the black source. Interesting, the, yeah, well, they're on Sultai at least. Okay, so we can try to go for the dragon. We came here to cast dragons. Because next turn I can gold span dragon. The nice thing is uh, a lot of our threats get around shadows verdict also this gives us an odd casting creature which this deck had a hard time against extinction event never not have it um so this is kind of like why i don't like these that much because at this junction of the game you generally would want an untapped land Nice thing here is we will be able to hold up the negate. I think we, we are short a snow permanent. Was hoping they didn't have this for a turn. Our turn would have been pretty explosive had they not. I think that's worth negating here. Um I think we're just attacking in here, Sango. They have salt I alt. It's kind of bad, but I think game one because we we do have a bit of removal in the deck. It's a little awkward, but if we drew like a sock coming, we did get the negates, so we're kind of geared more. Okay, so they don't have the, that, which is nice. They do have Yorian. That's fine. This is a little bit of an issue, but if we can get like Magma Opus, it's pretty good. Let's put a stop so it lets us respond. So we're waiting to do our turn. So it's two, one, two, three, four, five for this. This is kind of cool because it can be used with our dragon. I also have the option to frostbite here. Get rid of Yorian. So we're playing that tapped.
If there is a way to have like lethal, I would, but can't really do much. I kind of want them to kill this so then I can use this with Magma Opus. Clear their Yorian and then potentially attack in with everything. If they Shadow's Verdict, it's not the end of the world. So we need to try to kill them next turn. Brazen Borer's nice draw as well. Best we can give you is Fjord. Um, I mean, I think we need to just try going for it. We can kill the Yorian. Nope, they just didn't have the answer. Dracaris! All right, got there. Um, so this is Negate, Disdainful Stroke, Mystical Dispute, Vortex. Um, coming out, we can get rid of the Draconics. We can get rid of these Frostbites. I think we can trim... Kind of like the flash threats, we have to cut one. Bone Crusher is probably pretty bad. Also, don't love tapping out for this. Would I rather Bone Crusher here? So this gets around their even cost stuff. Could play an Ox. The games tend to likely go long. We saw that game where we kind of ran out of gas. Let's try it like this. Goldspan Dragon at least generates mana and it has haste, so post board. We had a red mana. I think we keep this. I think we keep it still. I'm actually gonna play the Faceless Haven first because if we draw Fajord or um, whatever the, gotta get these names right. What's the line called? Snarl. We need to show a land for it to come in untapped. Uh, it's gonna be the game where we just draw nothing but five drops. I'm tucking these away because they're likely bringing in discard against us. I think the hand was a reasonable keep. We had four two drops. If we draw another blue source, Brazen Borer can just flash in. We're not really bouncing much in this matchup. That's kind of cool tech. Solve the equation. So they get ultimatum here. I would like a land, please. They just get cultivate. Forty five percent of our deck. I still stand by that draw. Okay, so they can cultivate here. They do need to go up to at least eight mana with the Mystical Dispute. Holy shit. I think we... Go red here. The reason being 
I draw another land, then I can play out the Vortex with Saw coming back up. It's a very easy counter. This is more flexible, it hits anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This again, we're using our spells. Get in with that stomp. Holy hell. Our deck hates us today. Now, do we beat this? I think we let it resolve. I'm not gonna be greedy here, I'm gonna take the land. Nice, got the negates. So it's salt eye alt, the one, two, three, four, five. So I think we negate here. If they want to use a second binding, they can. Okay, so we got two basic removal spells out of them. Next turn, I can go Dragon with Sock coming back up. Been an interesting match. If we can pull this off, having missed line drop for like four turns. I mean, they could have negate here. They don't. Opponent's hand is very interesting this game. Okay, they're tapped out, which means Dragon resolves. I don't love the scry here without knowing really what you want to. Like, they didn't know we had Dragon or not. We will need to find another counter relatively soon. This is going away, which is nice. So they can't uh, Yorian and cast it. I don't think we fight over this one. This doesn't beat us. And like they can chump a couple turns. Huh. That's uh that's a good bait. So our man has really been hampering us this game. 
still think it was right playing dragon there to put some pressure on them. Interesting they kept these in against us. Yeah, now they win. So thus far, largely not have liked these snarls in this particular deck. They don't have Vorinclex. I just want to see what they get. They can do new Liliana. I want to see if they're playing that. And they're playing Chiadi. We're dead here. I just want to see what they were getting. Um, I think we're largely playing it the same. I actually don't think I want the Ox. Let's just go aggro. Because if I can do that, at least put some pressure on them. That game we were just kind of stuck where we had to be reactionary, but we weren't really putting any pressure, so they eventually just drew out of it. Also, just drawing your third land by turn six doesn't really help. I guess what I could have done is float two mana off the extinction event, but they went to their turn anyways. They had an extra turn with all runs, so it doesn't matter. If I counter the all runs, the extinction event, I maybe get one more turn. I'm gonna mulligan this hand. Okay, this hand's better. Let's put dragon away, I think. Or the furthest from dragon. We'll put aside this sock coming. In case they have discard. Then I'm probably just gonna hard cast this. Mm. Second thought. So they can go binding and then it feels bad. If they don't go binding then we can hold up counters for pretty much the rest of the game. This gives them a binding target, otherwise they likely just cultivate. I can't do much about it anyways. Okay. You have 80 cards. 100% they have binding. The extinction event here, I don't really care about extinction event. Damn it. Always had it. One, two, three, four. So they can't do too much here, so I think I'm okay to behold this. Five mana is not really where they play out. Probably just Yori into hand. I think I want to hit a land here. Holy shit. Do I have to go to 25 lands? I think we're gonna have to add a line to this deck. Too many games now we've uh, not been able to get there. I 
Test the talents. That card is actually what we need to play for Saltai Alt. I forgot that was a card. So basically, it you counter, target, instant, or sorcery, and then you get to look through their library for cards with the same name as that one. And then exile them. So it's kind of um, like Necromentia style effect. Surgical extraction for the, uh, the boomers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we're going to go up a land after this. And this is kind of why we're not playing on the rank ladder just yet. Like, we want to get another Sandy. Like, we're still playing Saltai Ultimatum, um, which is one of the premier decks. think we do this if they want to counter this I'm fine with it so I'm doing this on the off chance that we drew another one because if they're gonna exile it anyways we get to draw a card here, they're only going to hit one Mystical Dispute, so it's not the best. We have this Magma Opus. Which can come down. A couple cards away from that. So, not the best value. So we can just block here and then I can behold. Could be getting salt alt here. Test the talents. So we're definitely adding test the talents to the sideboard. For these control mirrors. Need to find another counter spell here. Yeah, that's fine. Like, if you're going to counter my card draw, I'm fine with it. Because what I care about is this saw coming. We still have three of those in the library. They get two more beholds, but that's not the end of the world. Perfect. Negate. Mm. I think we're just holding back here. If they don't want to attack in, I'm fine with that. Like, even if you trade your Yorian, that means I have to tap out, which seems like a good trade for them. Here I have negates. I want to use this, like, as a combat trick, potentially. Kill that. You can still race them, so them spending four mana to kill my shark that's already replaced itself it's fine value 
Um, let's go X4. Now we just race. So I think instead of the disputes, we play test the talents, trim down maybe a negate as well. Because we can strip either like all their counter spells, even like their all runs, it's pretty good. So I'm gonna lead negate here. Again, the flexibility of this, this is an exile, so they can't take it. So now we're kind of shields down. So much magma opus. I'm gonna discard one of these. I guess we did it, shouldn't have gone Bone Crusher there. I could have played around Dispute. Yeah, that was probably a misplay. We weren't going to race them because they could have held this back. Okay, so we've learned some stuff. We want, we definitely want Test of Talents. Elements of the deck we like. That's definitely for sure. What we do probably want is another land. And test the talents. So. Let's trim and negate. Let's trim. Actually, do I want the negates more? From a dispute. This new sideboard view is just absolutely atrocious. Did not like these snarls, so I think we're just going to go up, up, up. The negate main was okay. Could just go disdainful, but this has more flexibility, I find. Let's give it another game. Let's see if we get mana screwed again and we'll go up. What are we running? 25 lands already? Oh, we're at 61. Um, okay, let's go down to Brazen. Is it Dragons, part two? It was a good match, nonetheless. We got to see some of the abilities of the deck, how it kind of plays out, and uh, play around that for you. Hopefully not another Salt Eye Alt matchup that goes long. I want to test decks. Okay, Luris. Maybe Rogues. I think we try this. Looks like rogues for the opponent. So we have a choice of either beholding here or stomp. I think 
think we just hold up the stomp because if they go soaring thought thief which they couldn't on turn one perfect so this gives us a, a chance to respond here magma opus in the yard is actually pretty good for us We got a reader here. So we still have the frostbite in the deck. Hope to draw one of those. I do think we're probably just gonna play it. Ah, they milled over. Oh no, are we drawing it? Folks, professional magic player here. I think we do it on upkeep to, if they wanna counter. Oh, you know what, let's do this now. This lets me behold here. We are 42 cards. Grab into double passage would have sucked. So the downside of foretelling here is that we turn on into the story. They have a chance to cast it now, but they don't. So I think here we do want the second blue source. Let's see what they do here. Still the two Draconic Interventions, which should be good. Um, pretty much everything in their deck will be hit by four, so even with the Magma Opus, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so they brought Luris to hand. So I actually think we do this this turn. If they want to counter this, I think it's largely okay. Okay, we got shark. And I think here now we can fight over the Luris. Because if they drop Luris, I can get into a counter battle with them. If they don't do anything, then I just shark for three. We are at 34 cards. Having the sharks is nice. It lets us basically play a pseudo responsive game. Okay, we got Opus. Can present some threats later on. I think we just pass the turn here. They could use removal here on the shark. I think we let that go. It's a premium spell because that means it's also not a counter.
would have loved that frostbite. So what do we have left in our deck? Still have two frostbites left. Perfect. I will take both of those. So much magma, so much opus. Um, I can do this. Not great if we want to get into a counter fight. So we just go. I will saw it coming to Luris here. Opponent doesn't seem to have much gas going. Do we still have a Draconic intervention? We still have both, which is great. Um, I think we're doing this. Just get some pressure out. Everything in their deck has flash, and at this point, if you bounce it, it doesn't do much. We have a couple answers to Luris. Uh, let's go. Could have been into the story, so I'd rather not tap out. So here I have Stomp and the gate thing up so i think that's fine we definitely want to increase this clock it's pretty risky to try to resolve our eight mana spell i think we're still okay here got dark real quick That's an easy counter. We negate here. So our bit shields down, but we can start putting some good pressure on the opponent. They are still trying to mill us, but they only have blue, blue. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can do this for six. We'll do it on their end step. If they want to into the story, they can. Do I have any counters left? I have two sock coming. Um. I could also just do this. That's fine. So one, two. Tap two permanents. Megma opus time. Okay, so we weren't drawing it anyways. We get milled a bit, but we have lethal on board. And 
and uh, we just swing in for lethal here. Magma. Magma Opus time. Um, for this matchup, we want our Oxes. We want our Scorching Dragon Fires. Don't think we want Cinder Clasms. Test the Talents seems fine. So does Negate. Um, coming out... Don't think we want Magma Opus. Maybe one. Eh, probably not. Um, cards to cut, cards to cut. Maybe trim one of these. Trim a dragon. Basically just trimming like some of the top end stuff. I'm actually probably okay going 61 cards here. We cut our curve quite dramatically. And it's they're gonna mill us anyways. Let's see what we can do. I think this ends largely okay. We might want another dragon f fire. Obviously draw your ox, cause that's what you want. So we do have a diff interesting decision here. They didn't have, I do think we do this. Just get that aside. Yeah, that's what I was... Because if they had um, Thieves Guild, then it's better we have Stomp Up. If they play this, then our turn's largely useless. So now we can go this, hold up Stomp, if not Behold, or test the Talents, so we have some options. I wonder if they took out the Crab in this matchup. This will be decent to just deal with this. They probably brought in like extinction or um, heartless axe, just stuff to deal with my dudes. Uh, would have liked frostbite. Frostbite would have been sweet. Still have three frostbites. Still have the dragon fires. So they use a disdainful stroke there. It's an interesting line. I don't know if I agree with it necessarily. And I kind of want to do this for three. They mill two, that goes to seven, that turns on into the story. The line is probably It's honestly probably just stomp face. I don't want to go down on counter spells right now. Let's do this. 
they're not putting a huge clock on us. This will get up to two. They're not milling us at a dramatic pace. Kind of feel bad with that stomp now, obviously, but Let's see if they go into the story here. Do it. You know you want to. Okay, kiss triumph. I'm gonna trade with the thieves guild here. I think that's fine. Like this will mill us fast enough that we have to consider it. Dragon would have been nice. Can I get my Scorchin? Can I get my... Stomp is good. So we'll do this on upkeep. I lose an attack this turn, but I think I want them to spend mana on their turn. Because now I have negate as well. Because I kind of want to get cards in my hand too, so I can cast this ox. All these are really good cards. Again, our life total is not at a huge kind of like uh, impact. We just don't want them to be able to draw a bunch of cards. Sure. Are you going to double dead weight? I think if they double dead weight, um, I can do this. I can do this for three and then still hold up counter magic. Let's see if they flash in something here. Deadweight's a weird one. So just doing this for three. They heartless act this, I think we. I think we throw up the negate here. If we can get two spells out of them, that's good. Especially if they're just fighting over something like this, which is kind of meaningless. Cool. Two spells out of them to kill my card that already drew a card. Faceless isn't bad, gives us another threat. So I think we, we poke in here. Still haven't milled the ox. I think next turn, if we don't hit anything, we're gonna ox. Pump 
opponents behind on clock. Not milling at an insane pace. Would have liked Dragon. Would have liked Brazen. Not gonna lie. So we're out of all our dragons. Let's go aggro. I have something in hand. What? I couldn't tell you. Drowned. I think getting rid of all their drowns would be good. Okay, so they do have Into the Story. They do have Agademes. Downside here is I don't get to cast Ox this turn, but also they're dead on board. So we got them in a pretty good spot here. Dragon time. That bodes well. This card's sweet. Test of Talents is definitely something we should have had in game one. Imagine we counter any of their spells. Just strip their deck. Krabby Boy. Krabby Patties. You're dead. You're dead. GG's. All right, we will wrap this one up. Appreciate everyone stopping by, as always. Um, as mentioned, I will drop a code, some codes for packs in the video description. If you can, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate the support. If you have any deck ideas, as always, drop them in the comments as well. Thanks for watching, and uh, make sure uh, to kind of just follow along. We'll be playing a bunch of decks. We'll be taking a rank ladder shortly, and go from there. Thanks for watching.